What do you do if your guitar's out of tune and you leave it and it sounds so bad? What do you do because it sounds just like crap and everybody covers up their ears? They get help from your good old granddad. They should get help from your good old granddad. He'll show you how to tune your own guitar. you'll be able to shoot your own guitar. How you doing, Grand? How you doing there, TJ? It's Grandad here. Oh, okay, I'm all messed up here with the video thing. Anyway, mate, today we're going to be talking about tuning guitars. Now, when I used to tune my guitar when I was just a little guy, when I was just a little sardine like you, now I'm a big Moby Dick. Wow. Anyway, I didn't have a tuner on my guitar like you have that gave me letters A, B, D, G, and all those things. I had a thing like this. Can you see that? It's called a tuning fork. A tuning fork. And what that does, it tunes your A, a string on your guitar, number 5 string, to a pitch called A440. A440 and it's important to know that because every band, every orchestra, every piano, every organ, every instrument in the whole world is tuned to that and this is what it sounds like. Listen. Me. And if I play my A string, number 5 string on my guitar, listen. Me. It's right on and because when I got that string in tune with that I can then go ahead and tune the guitar and this is how it works the A string is number 5 string 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 now because that's in tune and if I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to the 5th fret let's see you can see that 5th fret on the 5th string and I play that that string's in tune and if the one below it, which is the G string, isn't in tune, I can tune to that because that is a D note. It's on the fifth string on the fifth fret. And if I play the D string, see they both sound the same. Amazing, isn't it? amazing, amazing. No electronics, no nothing. Just a good old tuning fork. And then if I go down to the fourth string on the fifth position, again, see where the fifth position is? Like what like position indicators? I play that. That's the G note, so I can tune that G note dee 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 dee, to the G string. Now the next one's a little bit tricky because we're going to be tuning the B string, number two string, and that goes on your third string. Here you go one, two, three, four. The fourth fret, and that's the B string. Okay, great. Now we go down to the second string, the B string. One, two, three, four, five, and we'll play that. That's the E note, which is your first string. Now, but we haven't chosen this big guy, and there's no string above that, there's no seventh string. So, here's a little trick if you take the fourth string, the D string, and you go one, two, and you play that note, that's an E note. So we get to hear that one. Me, 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 me. And we can tune to that. And it's also the same note as the number one string. So if I go ding. There. That's how it's tuned. That's without the electronics. But you are very, very lucky, young man, because you have a tuner. What are these things? Now I'm going to turn it on. Well, first of all, that's what it sounds like when it's in tune. If I make these strings out of tune, and I play a chord, oh, yeah, sounds terrible. So I'll turn my tuner on. Is that the better turn on? Yes, there it comes. Now, I get the E string, the number one. And see it's red, so I want to get that to green. So 
I tune it up till it goes green. Oops, there it is. And then I go to the B string. B's coming up, it's red. Keep going. Keep going till it goes. Oh, missed it. Let's just back off a little bit. There it is. Now the G string, the same thing, number three string. It's red, it's flat, the note's flat. There we go. See, perfectly in tune, young man. So, tuning vault, 8440. Remember that, young man, it's very, very important. Now, that's a secret, so don't tell Vanessa that, okay? So, Vanessa, when I'm talking to TJ on this, you close your ears because that's a secret, okay? Now, let's tune in the guitar. So, E, B, G, D, A, E. Now, later on, we're going to be learning a scale, like... Scale of C. But that's going to come later. And then once we learn the scale of C, we can learn a C chord. Me. Anyway, mate, that's it for this week. So I want you to keep this lesson because this is a lesson that you can always, always check back on if you're having trouble tuning the guitar. And remember, if the guitar's out of tune, it sounds like what? I didn't hear you. What does it sound like? Don't let your mum hear you. Don't let your mum hear you say that word, okay? And don't tell her I told you that word, okay? See you next week, mate. God bless. See you, mate. See you, Vanessa. See you, Gary. See you, Godfrey. Bye. Oh, just that. We could do something here. See you later, alligator.